Hello and welcome to Dish Granted. I'm your host, Stephen Lim, and on this show, we create extravagant meals for our guests. However, today, we're going to be preparing something very special, a little bite-sized episode sponsored by Best Foods, and that is this. Welcome to Dish Granted Mashup. Normally on this show, I cook by myself, but today, we're bringing in the director behind the camera, Tony Kim. Come on down. I'm ready. Usually on Discriminated, I have 24 hours, no limit to how much I can spend. But today we're gonna have one hour, as well as three mystery ingredients provided by Ryan Bergara and making a delicious meal out of them. And uh, we obviously have to use a special ingredient. And that is? Best Foods Real Mayonnaise. Ooh. Tell me more about Best Foods. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Best Foods, also known as Hellman's on the East Coast, isn't just a condiment to add to your sandwiches, but can be used as an ingredient in a lot of recipes and can help turn random ingredients in your fridge to something delicious, even if you think there's nothing to eat. So hopefully that will help us in today's challenge. Ryan is a harsh critic, by the way, so just- Yeah, yeah. I remember, but uh, I think we can do this. We can do it. We already impressed him once. Walk in the park. Walk in the- <laughs> <laughs> I've learned not to say positive things because I want to set expectations low. All right, Ryan, what do you have for us today? All righty, so your mashup ingredients will be squid, it's gonna be great, wasabi. Oh my goodness. You like that? And then uh, pickles. Is this, is this what the diet of a Ryan Bergara looks like, by the way? You just have these no. like lying around? I thought it would be really funny to give you things that would be impossible to mix together. And I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until like now that I'm gonna have to eat it. Yes. So I guess the joke's really on me. Whatever happens, you can, you can just blame your own decisions. I'm excited to see what you fail at. Or best case scenario, we make something delicious and then everybody wins. Happiness times a thousand. Well, good luck because it's pickles, wasabi, and squid. Delicious. Sounds awful. All right, so why don't you leave us alone for an hour and we will get right to work for you. I feel like there's a nicer way to say that. <laughs> All right, your dish will be granted. So I can't even get, okay. Fancy locks over here. I, you would think after last episode, he would have more confidence in us. He's just trying to challenge us. We just can't mess this up now. I hate losing to Ryan. Hate it more than anything in the world. Let's do this. First thing I see is squid and like wasabi kind of connecting. Through like, like sushi. Asian, yeah, like Asian cuisine, right? And then pickles and mayonnaise. There, there are a lot of dishes in Japanese cuisine with mayonnaise in them. That's very true. You know what? That just gave me an idea. We have cabbage in the fridge, and I remember eating when we were in Japan, cabbage pancakes. Oh. Have, you, have you ever had this before? Okonomiyaki? Yes, I have. Yes. And you know what's on top of it? Mayonnaise. Mayo, baby. So what if we make our own Japanese pancakes and like throw things together in a nice way? We should also cook the squid and put it on top. There's like shrimp in here too. Yeah, so it'd be like a little mix, A right? seafood okonomiyaki, yeah. Mm. Why don't we put the pickles in there? Because I think it'll mix well with the cabbage. Are we, are we like chopping it up? Let's chop it up. Chopping it up, yeah. got it. For the okonomiyaki sauce, they have like a soy ketchup blend that we can make. Okay. I have all those ingredients. And then finally, we have the mayo. We could make like a wasabi mayo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wasabi mayo. Yes. That looks like a dish to me. I think it's gonna taste really good. I just don't want to mess up. All right, let's do it. Uh, all right. <laughs> you need help there? Uh, no, we're good. Okay, let's see. How big do we want the pancake to be, first of all? I think the size of this pan would be like, Perfect. Okay. So let's see here. What do we what do we start with first? The dough. The dough. The dough. So we need maybe a cup of flour. Okay. Four eggs. Four eggs. Should be good. Okay, so for the ingredients inside, we have pickles and cabbage. We're gonna chop them up now and then combine all together. How much cabbage do we need? Uh probably not. a good amount. And for pickles, I think I don't wanna go too much, right? I don't want it to overpower. Yeah. Time check, how much time do we have left, Brittany? 25 minutes. Whoa, shoot, okay. Okay, we gotta Let's go. start speeding this up. Let's go, okay. okay. I don't know the order of our operations of where to put everything in, but I feel like we can just throw it all in together and right? start mixing, in it, mixing okay. it. The flour, salt, cabbage. Boom, how's it feeling? It's uh, feeling very cabbage-y. <laughs> oh shoot, we should have put the baking powder earlier. 
<laughs> Throw it in now. That's fine. That's good. You want to mix it with your hands? Go for it. Let's go. Oh my. It's slimy. All right. Pickles. Throw them in. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Yo, it smells good. It smells good? Yeah, were you worried there for a second? I was like, wait, what? I thought we forgot something. <laughs> no, no, it smells really good with the pickles. Okay, so green onions? Do you want to put green onions in here? Yeah, why not? Okay, we got it. I mean, let's do it. Wow, yes. Okay, we have our batter here. And before we cook it, we need to make our sauces. So the first sauce is the okonomiyaki sauce. And that is two parts ketchup and Worcestershire sauce. And then one part honey, one part soy sauce. Ooh, that's smelling good already. It smells really good. I mean, yeah. I think it needs a little bit more honey. Really? I was thinking a little more soy. A little more soy, a little more honey. Mm. Perfect. Next sauce is our wasabi mayo. Let's do five parts mayonnaise, one part wasabi. Wait, I want it to be like like fluorescent green. green. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's gonna happen. It won't happen unless we had food coloring. It's pretty good. It's great. But mm. I think it just needs a little bit something extra. Maybe a lime. Just to make it a little... We have a lime. A little zesty, you know? We have, we have fruits back here. You okay, know, cool. Lime, yeah, lemon, yeah, whatever you want. We got it. All right. So if it goes bad, I'm blaming you. Done. Don't like mess that. with perfection. I like that. We got our sauces. We got our batter. We got our meats. It's time for the cooking. This is where it gets hard. If you've been a pancake before, it requires flipping. I'm not the best at it. We've seen this show, but I think you would you would do a good job. Okay, I trust I, you. I, I think I can do it. Okay. Yeah. So Let's here we go. Go ahead and. Oof. Yes. Oof. Yes. So let's uh, spread this out so the cabbage is nice and evenly distributed. I feel like. Okonomiyaki is one of those great, like, clear the fridge dishes. Agreed. You, you have a bunch of stuff, you can throw it in here. Yeah, you know, that's the spirit of this video. Yeah, we don't want food waste. I think uh, now is a good time to add in uh, our little <laughs> seafood mix. We got shrimps, squid, scallops. Yeah. I think every bite should have a piece of seafood in there. Agreed, multiple pieces of seafood. Oh yeah. I think it's ready to flip. All right, before you do it, let me God be with you. Okay. I don't know if this is a big, yeah, it is a big enough plate, so. The plate, oh actually. Did you just slide it onto the plate and then yeah. flip it from the plate? <laughs> yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Nice. Yay! Yay! All right. That looks nice and crispy. Steven's happy dance. Let's go. What is this dance called, Jay? <laughs> COVID arm. COVID, COVID arm. arm. That's what you do when you get the vaccine. You actually, you have to uh, move it around a lot uh -huh. to help. Oh, he just sprayed me. <laughs> oh, sorry. oh, shoot. We need to chop the toppings up. Uh oh, okay. We have like, Two minutes left. Okay, okay. Uh, they usually put bonito flakes on this, but we don't got it, so we're yeah. substituting. Potato chips. All cool. right, I'm still working on the mayo here. Thank you. Let me flip this, but I, I don't want to mess it up either. We're doing it, ready? Hey! Whoa! Yes! 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 How much time we have? One minute. We're almost down here, home stretch. Want some seaweed flakes? Yes. Let's do it. I don't think I should put too much. All right, now sauces. Sauces. Let's go. Boom! A little saucy, you know? Yes. You want it saucy. And then the mayonnaise. All right. Ooh, all right. <gasps> That's beautiful. Okay, done. We did it! Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> 
Let's bring in the right guy. All right. La, 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 la. Let's see what you guys did here. Do you guys feel confident? You look confident. I think we did good. Yeah. He, he's looking pretty smug. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We did good. Uh, Ryan Bergara, yeah. your mashup dish has been granted. Whoa. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. We have a pizza. <laughs> It's close. You're close to a pizza. What is what does that mean? We have okonomiyaki. It's a Japanese pancake. I, I knew that. You knew that. I'm, I'm half Japanese, <laughs> so I knew that. Our base layer here is made of a batter: flour, eggs, cabbage, which is the typical okonomiyaki batter. But we added your pickles that you wanted in there, and then on top of that, we have our seafood. And finally, our ingredient that you wanted was the wasabi. We made a sauce out of it, and we used mayonnaise to make a beautiful wasabi mayo. We also added our signature homemade okonomiyaki sauce. You guys are cooking up a storm in here, so much that it burned a bunch of holes in your shirt. Uh, you've been waiting to use that joke, I, I can tell. Yeah, okay, good. Good one! Got him! All right, you ready, ready guys? We ready to hop aboard the flavor train? Here we go. Cheers! Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Okay, that's actually pretty tasty. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. I could taste like a little the bit of wasabi that's in there. The wasabi mayo really actually brings it together. Mm. The mayo is so good. I'm not getting much of the pickles quite. Oh, nope, no, no, the pickles. Yeah, are good. Yeah, just pickles. I said yeah. that, they heard me and they're like, don't forget about us, Ryan. And I didn't, I did not. I hate to say it, but you did a good job. Thank you. Um, Do we get a gold star? I think you guys get a gold star. I did take three ingredients that I thought were gonna be a disaster and then turned them into something pretty good. Just could have used a little more crisp. That's the only critique I have though. Well, thank you so much to Best Foods for sponsoring this episode. You can learn more about how to fight food waste and how Best Foods has partnered with Refed at bestfoods.com, which is also where you can find out recipes for turning nothing into something in your own kitchen. New season, this grand, this summer, six episodes, six guests, all the chaos that you signed up for. See you there.